Hello to everyone and welcome to the Nokia 5800 review by the Nokia mobile blog. So first we're going to briefly compare the Nokia 5800 to the Nokia N85. So let's compare the hardware part of the phones. As you can see the Nokia 5800 is a little bit longer but they are almost the same width, same as width and yeah they are more or less the same size the only difference of course is that the Nokia 5800 is a little bit longer be because it's a touchscreen phone so people ask a lot which phone to get and I would say you go for the Nokia 5800 because it's a more it's a better phone it has the touchscreen which, which is more user friendly and really the only reason you would go for the Nokia N85 is because of the better camera and of course quality pictures uh, than the 3.2 megapixel camera of the Nokia 5800. So that was a quick overview of the hardware of both phones. Of course, the software is very different since this is a touchscreen phone and this has a uh, keys. So let's proceed to the Nokia 5800 review. Let's start with the hardware, a closer look uh, on this part of the phone we have the SIM port and next to it there's the memory card port on the top part of the phone there's the power 3.5 millimeter button and the USB port here we have the unlock key which unlocks and unlocks the phone and turns the screen on and off and here is the camera button volume up, volume down nothing on the bottom part of the phone here we have the stylus on the back part of the phone which isn't rounded as in most phones has a really weird uh, shape here we have a 3.2 megapixel camera with coral size optics and dual flash here says Nokia and has nice patterns the back part of the phone is rubbery and the rest is um, like uh, I would say yeah mid quality plastic but definitely the phone feels sturdy there's no creaking or loose parts on the Nokia 5800. So this is the front part of the Nokia 5800. It has a 3.2 uh, inch screen. Here we have three hardware keys, which this one is the red, two end calls. Here is the button uh, to activate the menu. And here is the green key to call and to access the lock here so here let's proceed to the software part of the Nokia 5800 so first we have here the media key which are five icons here we have web videos share online images and music you can change at all the, the five options that Nokia gives you there they are hard-coded it's there's no way to change that on the bottom part of the phone we have the keypad to dial phones here we have the phone book well I just received this phone from Nokia USA so I don't have any contacts at all and the Nokia 5800 has three shortcuts on the top part of the phone but they are hidden if I tap the clock it will take me to the clock and, I, and if I tap here it will show me the profiles and if I tap here it will take me to the um, connection control panel I could say that so here I could activate and manage all which is related to the connectivity of the phone Bluetooth connection manager data transfer wireless LAN and the network and USB here is the Nokia mobile blog site as you can see I'm scrolling with my finger and it's very responsive it follows my finger exactly as I want to and there's no lag it's really responsive and it's it's a really nice web browser and I would say that it's the best Nokia phone to browse the web ever so let's turn the phone over and the phone has an accelerometer so it We'll turn the screen automatically and we can choose here in the internet control panel to show with the full screen 
and as you can see the site looks exactly the same as in a full PC the internet browser is probably the best part of the Nokia 5800 it's amazing how the Nokia 5800 renders the websites and you can browse through them pretty easily it's probably the best part so here we tap over here and it takes us again to the media bar here to the sorry navigation bar here we can zoom in and out a double tap a double tap will also uh, the, well, okay, let's go to YouTube here to show you how good, how YouTube looks like on the Nokia 5800. So, here we have YouTube, and the Nokia 5800 has Flashlight 3, so it will show any video on YouTube. As you can see there, the video is loading, and if I tap here, it will take me to the full screen, and it's pretty... And it's pretty cool to see YouTube videos here in the Nokia 5800 because it has an, a huge screen and the flashlight really well enables you to, to watch them. So let's go to the bookmarks so you can see here. Here are the bookmarks and I can scroll like this or like this. In any menu of the Nokia 5800 you have two ways to scroll. Directly on what you want to scroll or with the bar. So that was the, the browser of the Nokia 5800. There's three options available on the Nokia 5800. So let's make a note. And if you tap here, it will take me to the QWERTY keyboard, which is my predefined uh, text inputting option. I can type here with the two hands and can, and can type pretty easily. It's really cool to type on the Nokia 5800. I can also choose by tapping here. I have handwriting, which of course requ requires the stylus, and you can move the 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 box around the screen, which is pretty cool. And um, we also have here the mini QWERTY keyboard, which is supposed to work with the plectrum that came with the Nokia 5800 or your finger but it's really difficult to do that you could also use uh, the T9 keyboard which is a nice option just like in any T9 keyboard Nokia phone here I have the images and videos here is the gallery it already came with those images and videos so let's watch a video so you can appreciate the 16:9 ratio of the screen of the tube of the Nokia 5800 sorry the music application is very similar to those on previous Nokia phones. Here I have all my songs, which are the preloaded ones because I just received the phone from Nokia USA. And it sounds pretty loud. It has excellent speakers. Over here. Okay, so that was the music player in the Nokia 5800. Um, let's now switch again to the home screen. Okay, so the thing I most hate about the Nokia 5800 is that the desktop screen doesn't change when you go like this. In fact, there's no uh, uh, landscape desktop mode. It's you just can use the desktop mode in portrait mode, and I I would re I would really want to see uh, landscape desktop view of the Nokia 5800 
So that was the Nokia 5800 review by the Nokia mobile blog. You can go ahead to the blog and leave a comment to ask something related to the phone or how is it compared to other Nokia phones. So see you soon.